Welcome to the LA Auto Show at the stand of Mercedes-Benz. Today we're going to see here one world premiere and two US premiers as well. What that does mean in detail, let's have a closer look now. The GLC F-Cell is celebrating its US premiere here in LA. That car offers 197 horsepower and a range of more than 270 miles. On top of this, you can drive that car on short distances on pure electric power as well. When Mercedes introduced the CLS in 2003, they really brought a completely new type of a car to the market, which is a four-door coupe. Now they're showing the third generation of this car, and it should be the new design icon of the brand. And how much design that car offers, Gordon Wagner will tell us now. That car is um, the first true designer's car. The first generation was the first time when designers were allowed to, to actually do a car like, looking like a design sketch with a very small greenhouse, low roof of course, nice flowing silhouette, high belt line, uh, big wheels pushed into the body. And, um, and that concept was so successful that of course now we are seeing four-door coupes uh, all over the place from all manufacturers in all different classes, but still CLS is the true original. And so we kept uh, this responsibility and uh, we kept the DNA of the first uh, CLS, which is basically uh, about this uh, super extreme uh, flowy silhouette and we just clean it up. If we like it, we take a line off. If we still like it, we take a line off. And as you see, there's no line left, which is the next level in our design philosophy of central purity. And basically what we do is we sculpture the whole thing uh, with light and shadow with this nice uh, bone line, is what we call it. Um, to do that, to reduce the lines, it's very crucial to uh, have great proportions because proportion is everything in design. Um, and, um, and this car has a typical Mercedes proportion, very sporty, uh, very long dash to axle here from the first cut line to the wheel. That means the car has a long hood, has this, this extreme uh, fast windshield flowing into that enormous hood and, and down to that um, upright negative tilting grille, what we call the shark nose, like a shark, negative, even more aggressive. Um, uh, shark is a good example, we call that our predator face, uh, as it is so aggressive and progressive uh, with this uh, triangular headlamps with the day running light signature here, uh, making that car very aggressive and make it a predator on the, on the street. Especially in combination with what we call our Panamicana grill, our racing grill, tilted negative. In this case here, with the AMG kit combined with a diamond uh, insert uh, in the purebred AMG, you get the pure Panamicana with the vertical bars. Here it works nicely with um, the AMG A-frame here in the lower body with this fins. So overall, it's a very progressive, very aggressive combination here. So that's, that's the next level in, in the exterior design. If we go into the interior, my friend, it's nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look inside. So here we are, welcome in the, in the most progressive, most sportiest and most avant-garde interior we're having. Um, with that um, black in contrast to the pearl white on the exterior, uh, we're having that pure black interior here with this open black wood um, wrapping around. Uh, this interior is like a glove. It's a very sporty thing with this driver-oriented cockpit, with this racing steering wheel here, um, with the flat section on the bottom, very tight with all the functions here onto the steering wheel. And in fact, as a tribute to the US now, we're having the cruise control onto, uh, on the steering wheel, so you can easily manage all distance pilot functions here from, right from the steering wheel. Of course, you have shift paddles, but you also have um, touch pads here. One for the left side and, um, and the other one for the right side uh, here. And uh, so you can operate these screens um, here uh, directly while driving. Um, the screen is uh, bonded in one, two times 12 
inch displays and um, and it has that sharp corner here on on the side and in contrast to this new digital wall to the new operating system which runs onto that that screens um, the latest at Mercedes we're having something we call hyper analog it's like a chrono watch and it fulfills basically mechanical demands and it's kind of more sustainable luxury and we call that our um, jet uh, exhaust um, vents and they're basically like from a jet fighter and in fact they turn red when they heat and they turn blue when they cool down so that's a very cool feature uh, in that avagandistic interior and as you can see even though that car from the exterior was so radical so low uh, inside you have a lot of head clearance you have a lot of room also um, in the rear so with that let me show you the rear of the car so uh, coming to the rear this is almost the nicest part of the vehicle as it um, it is really embodying our central purity philosophy uh, something that is really cool and something that is really hot and these uh, shoulders make that car really hot they make it create a big stance onto the street uh, we have a narrow greenhouse small greenhouse with this extreme proportion from the rear screen and um, and otherwise we keep that that rear super clean we combine that with very cool progressive graphics similar to the front end to our predator face here we're having triangular rear lamps here with that three-dimensional glass piece illuminated um, and basically showcasing the next level in technology um, we put the license plate in the rear bumper that allows us to present the star very nicely onto this full and clean surface and uh, and make that car the next design icon in the next generation for the next decade. When the CLS will hit the market, Mercedes will only offer six cylinder engines for that car. These are either a diesel with 286 or 340 horsepower or a petrol engine that will then offer 367. But very important, this big petrol engine will also have the so-called EcoBoost system on board, which is uh, powered by the new 48 volt system. And that will offer us another 22 horsepower just to give the car the extra kick for a short moment. Later the year, they will also offer four cylinder engines for diesel as petrol as well. This year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of AMG and I think AMG brings itself the best present you can have. Next to me is Tobias Merz. Uh, Tobias, what is the car behind you? It's Project One. So it's uh, the pinnacle of technology what you can get today. It's a transfer from Formula One technology, technology to street legal. We're using the Formula One engine, 1 1.6 liter V6 with a high power output. We add another four electric motors, two dedicated to the engine, two dedicated to the front axle. So it's a piece of technology and shows what we understand about the future of performance. Uh, when we talk about AMG in the United States, how important is that market uh, for AMG? You know, Uni United States, US as a market is since years, more than 10 years now, our biggest market. So we have a huge dedication to the US. Uh, we have very loyal customers here. Dima mentioned in the press conference we had a 50% growth rate here in the US with AMG, so it's our most important market. So I would say I would love to have one of these AMGs, but they sold out, and I have to be honest, I can't afford it. That was our report here from the Mercedes bandstand at the LA Auto Show. And I have to tell you the absolute highlight here is for sure the new CLS, the new design icon of the brand. I have some bad news because they told us they will not build that car as a shooting brake. If we're gonna see an AMG version in the future, we have to wait.